Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to Needle and Curves. Um, my name is Micheline and today I'm going to show you how I um, get a size, get the size that I need uh, when the pattern that I purchased does not include my size. What I have with me today is New Look um, A6574 which is this dress right here, this pattern right here. Uh, the pattern only goes, the pattern ranges um, from size 6 to 18, because pattern sizes, not ready to wear sizes. And I fit into a size, um, I cut a size 20 because size 20 aligns with my um, hip measurement of 44 inches. And so since this pattern does not have a size 20, I have to create the size 20. And so that's what I have for you today. So um, if you're interested, stay tuned and we will um, get that done. So as I said, um, I'm going to be tracing off um, this pattern. I shared a video um, earlier on my channel on, channel on how I trace patterns and I'm going to be essentially using the same technique to, um, to create the size 20. And so I will link, um, provide a link in the description to that, um, to that video. So I've already done a couple of the pieces. I did the size, um, the second part of the sleeve. I've already done the sleeve back, which is pattern piece number um, number 12, and now I need to do pattern piece number 11. I have with me the pattern, um, some pins, which I don't actually need, I'm going to put aside. Um, I do have one, two, three pins holding the pattern to the, um, to the tissue that I cut. And I have my um, carbon paper, which I um, which I cut to make it easier for me to use. A couple of rulers and a tracing wheel and a pencil. Generally speaking, uh, I find that the distance between pattern sizes, one size to the next, is about a half an inch, or maybe um, a quarter of an inch, or something like that. So this pattern goes to from 14 to 18 here. And the next size up, um, this this right here, this the measure distance between these two lines, 14 and 18, which is two pattern sizes, is a half an inch. So that tells me for the 20, I need to go up a quarter of an inch. And so I take my ruler and I measure up one quarter of an inch. Actually, I'm gonna move this pin out of my way one quarter of an inch and so one quarter of an inch the this line um, it's a very short distance between the um, 14 and an 18 so I'm not going to stress that all that much so what I'm going to do is um, grab my curve ruler and see where on this line because it all kind of stems from this point right here um, everything kind of just blends to where this notch is so what I'm gonna do is um, try to I'm just gonna carry that seam through that line through so that seems let me see oh I think that seems to be about right so, I'm gonna go from there, carry the line through, extend it a bit. So, there we go. We now have, and that looks to be, that's a nice little distance. It's a sleeve, so I don't think it has to be um, any more perfect than that. This part here is a little tricky because we don't have um, a good distance to measure. So if I measure between these two, um, 14, eight and 14, that's about a half an inch and eight to 14 to 16 is a little less than a half an inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue that quarter of an inch mark all the way around. So this base here is a little tricky. We are looking at the um, 
think this is a, this is essentially the uh, like the underarm area and if you notice the larger sizes kind of dip below dip below the um, smaller size so I'm gonna dip that down to be about an eighth of an inch uh, I don't know an eighth of an inch sixteenth of an inch I think it'll be fine either way and then what I'm gonna do is take my carve ruler and then carry that on through connect the dots smooth out the lines if you hear some noises children that's my my kids and um and their friend uh hanging out we just finished having brunch and it's a nice nice relaxing saturday afternoon okay so now for the side seam here the side seams um are usually uh, um, about a half an inch as well so i'm going to measure out half an inch now you'll see here that i don't quite have enough tissue paper to mark that half an inch because when i um trace when I cut the pattern out from the larger stack uh, I didn't realize that the size that I needed a size 20 I first tried I first started trying to make this pattern um, a couple of years ago so I didn't use it I didn't make it and I didn't know um, at the time how to make the larger size so I kind of abandoned the project so but in any event um, for if you realize that you're in that situation, try to cut the pattern out with as much space around it as possible. So if necessary, you can add the um, add the lines to it. Like draw the larger size on top of the tissue paper. So for this section here, the size distance between the 14 and the 18 is a quarter of an inch. So that tells me that the eight, distance between the 18 and the 20 should be about an eighth of an inch, which is half the distance. So. Don't be afraid to reposition pins if necessary. Okay, so here again, the pattern, um, the lines kind of merge. The pattern lines merge to this point here, which is where the pleat is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the curve ruler to help me um, curve this line so that it meets right to this point right here, where this line is. that seems to do the trick What I'm doing here is doing my best to keep the line as smooth as possible throughout. So that looks good to me. So I don't need to, for the rest of it, I don't need to, um, I don't need to mark on the pattern piece here, uh, with the exception of the, um, the these circles. And so to get the right distance for the circles, what I'm going to do is to get the distance for the size 18 circle what I'm going to do is kind of mark where it would be so the distance between these two sizes I don't know somewhere around here maybe so that should be where we need to put the size 18 somewhere in size 20 somewhere in this move this up Okay, so I, ha I bought a marker. So I put the size 20 circle right here, which will be 
should be approximately 5 8 of an inch away from the cutting line. So now for the tracing. I can put the ruler away, turn this around. So just like I did in the how to trace large pattern pieces um, video that I mentioned earlier, I'm just going to now trace off the pattern, trace off the size 20 as though it was already um, included in the pattern envelope. So I'm going to continue all the way across. And because I've already marked the size 20 side seam, let me use the green marker. That line is already there. So here we have the size 20 bottom and the size 20 side seam. I now need to do I now need to do this curved seam for the side for the underarm and so I'm going to I can see it even if you can't but so I'm going to trace it off and then show it to you when I'm all done so following the lines that I've written for myself, drawn for myself. Now for the top. And I believe this is the shoulder area. That line runs in. Don't forget your notches. Do your best to stay on track. It's like trying to color between the lines when you're in elementary school. I'm gonna mark an X there for that. And for the um, notch here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy, I'm gonna draw a line with a pencil where the um, notch is. And I'm just going to use, um, that's a size 18 notch. I'm gonna use that notch as my underarm notch for the matching piece because a notch wasn't there to be you know a notch wasn't there for the size 18 for the size 20 so now we have a notch there don't forget your grain line Moment of truth. I'm gonna go ahead and trace this out in green so you can see the full size, um, the full pattern now. So here's my line. Here's my line, the bottom line the arrow for the pleat, the direction of the pleat. Okay, 
So this line isn't particularly straight, so I'm going to use my ruler to straighten it out. Here's the bottom. There we go. And don't forget to write all of the details, um, pattern details. Six, five, seven, four. Size 20. Sleeve front C. Cut two. Okay, so I have now the skirt. The skirt presents a unique challenge, but it's still just as easy to do. Um, the challenge here is what do we do? Like, how do we find the um, size 20 point and point here? Well, the easy way to do that is to take a ruler and find, let me move this so it's in view. It's pretty long and align the ruler with the tip of each point and that will create essentially like plotting points more trivia about school um, plotting points on a graph so make sure it's nice and smooth as a matter of fact I'm gonna pin smooth it out and then I'm gonna pin it so that it does not move because you don't want this to move at all. Okay. So now I'm going to take the ruler. And align it with the tips of each. Darn it. Keeping it smooth. Align it with the tip of each size. At the point of each size. That seems good and draw a straight line. Here again, I don't have um, the point for the size um, 20 because I don't have enough tissue paper on the pattern envelope, pattern itself. But that's not a problem. We're gonna be able to find that point here really easily. this somewhere safe because once we align the half inch to the side which is what the difference is between the size 18 and the 20 the half inch there we go we now have the intersecting point for the size 20 so all I'm going to do is continue to draw Oops, that's not correct. This is why I use a pencil. Continue to draw the size 20 plot lines, measuring out a half inch. Measuring out a half inch from the size 18. And so, there we go. We now have the size 18, um, the size 20 mark there. So I'm gonna continue doing the same thing all along, um, all along the, the side seam to give me the size 20 width that I need. And for the waistline, 
where is the size? So here's the size 18 line, and that distance is an eighth of an inch between the between the 14 and the 18. So that should mean that it should be an eighth of an inch between let me see. Let me think about that. Okay, yes, it's an eighth of an inch between the 14 and between the 16 and the 18, an eighth of an inch between um, the 14 and 12, so it will be an eighth of an inch between these distances as well. So that is all we need to do. Continue. Let me move this along. of an inch and in the same manner camera batter is about to die but in the same manner how every I use the curve ruler to get to the point of you know zero here I'm gonna then take the curve ruler and do the same thing My daughter's calling. So there we go. Okay. So to be clear, we now have the size eight the size 20 right along this line right here and uh oh it's falling off the table and so now I will take the carbon paper and trace it along the same way uh, well guys, that's everything. Um, thank you for joining me today as I show you how I create a larger size um, when my size is not included in the um, pattern envelope. I hope you found this video helpful and um, I'd love to hear from you if you've given this a try or if you, um, or if you need to give it a try. I don't know. Um, but anyway, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.